Some families in our community cannot afford toys for Christmas, so they face pressure choosing between buying food or buying presents. News 19's Marcus Arsville joins us now. And Marcus, you spent the morning with some hardworking volunteers who hope to help so that families don't have to make that difficult decision. You're right. Kay and Ken Deaver volunteer their time throughout the year raising money for their Toys for Tots program that serves Vernon County families. Today they gathered with extended family and their friends to pack their purchases up. The Deavers have been in charge of Roqua's Toys for Tots drive for over 30 years. Kenneth and I didn't know how we got the job, but we sure had a lot of fun. And we've met a lot of wonderful people along the way. The Deavers recruited extended family and Vernon County community members to help as the program grew. I said there's a puzzle that's about this big and it gets bigger, but if everybody has a piece, Pretty soon by Christmas we have it all all put together and uh, hopefully a lot of children will have a nice Christmas. The first piece of that puzzle, getting the bags ready, then the organized process continues. Hats and mittens and gloves all put in appropriate ages. And then we have to our left, we have uh, all our game section. Each bag includes a board game, quilt, books, and of course, toys. They're, they're happy to get it and uh, we're happy to give it. After each bag is packed, families will pick up their designated gifts on Monday. When they pick up on Monday, we have another fun time. Usually we uh, get our Santa hats on and all that sort of thing and just try to make it a happy, happy time. It's pretty special to be able to bring brightness to uh, young uh, kids' lives and uh, it uh, carries over to us adults. Kay says helping others brings a heartwarming element to their holiday celebrations. It does your heart good. It, it's there's a there's a spirit there that there's no other feeling like it. Now Kay says they'll usually provide between four to five hundred children with gifts throughout Vernon County. That's amazing, Marcus. And you know how can families who are in need in the future um, really participate in this program? Yeah, if there's any families that are in need, they can call the Vernon County Police Department and then they will give them an anonymous number, which then Kay and Ken will use to give them those gifts. All right. Well, thanks for that, Marcus. Great reporting there. Thanks as well. Fundraising for the program starts as early as the Vernon County Fair every year.